If I'm about to die, there's five things I don't want to hear while I'm dying. Number one is a female cop. That's real? That's real, yeah. Mm. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I thought it was my taser! We're under attack right now, and none of these guys would ever do anything. That's why he's famous, because he wrote a book how he's responsible for accidental friendly fire death of a, like, local police. It's the Navy for you. Stay the hell off of them boats, because they just tear through people. Crazy acid rain from the weird ash fallout is all over Twitter right now. Yeah, we got acid rain. I got acid rain on my truck. I was very upset about that. And why is no why is nobody dead from that? That's what the problem is. I think it's time for a. Uh, I mean, that's what the problem is. That there's no violent res that that warrants a violent response. In if, Minecraft, if somebody uh, in a in whatever video game you're playing, if somebody nukes your base, it's time to retaliate. It's time to raid, it's time to raid their base. With Our I don't I don't understand support. that. And that's why all these um listen all these Jocko Willing type guys. They're, uh, they're just puss. okay? Yeah. Cause I'm a I'll admit, I'm at the end of the day, I'm gonna sit back and play Vampire Survivors, maybe, while the air, the air around me turns into a pure, pure pollution crystals forming around me in the yeah. air. I'll be playing Vampire Survivors. But these guys, any, any of these guys, Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, man. Jocko Willink, these guys that train with their, uh, these puss that train with their guns. Who's that guy, the, um, MMA fighter, Tim Kennedy. Was Tim Kennedy molested? That sucks. <laughs> Timothy Fred Kennedy, that's his name. This guy's a, this guy is a true p All these guys, because we're, we're under attack right now, and none of these guys would ever do anything. So f them. It's like the, have, you, have you seen, the, the, did we already talk about this? Wow. The Postmates bottom friendly menu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's so funny, man. What is bottom friendly food? Which by the way, the, um, the Black Rifle Coffee guy, did you see the allegations against him? No. The, the CEO of, um, first of all, his name's Evan Hafer. You take a knee on somebody? Former CIO, CIA agent is accused in court filings of allegedly harassing a uh, Black Rifle employee by asking him to butt f the sh out of each other and stripping naked in front of him. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> that's, a, that's the quote, yeah. So he needed the bottom friendly, he didn't want the bottom friendly menu that day, I guess. <laughs> Dude, these cop, these like cop military guys. So gay. <laughs> so funny. Bro. Black rifle? For sure. He'd wipe it up with the dude. For wipe. sure he would. That's what dude, <laughs> that's what dude wipes are for. That's what they should advertise. Bro. When you're butt a CIA agent, tough guy. You're gonna need some pretty hefty duty wipes. <laughs> Weren't there plenty of girls to like make TikToks about the army and stuff to get other guys to join the military? Wasn't that like a thing? Sounds like a thing. Yeah, I think so. I think, they, I think we they just were, like, saw trying it. To, like, yeah, they were trying to like make that a thing. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Mitchell Wright with the 15. I got skipped. Please look up Midshipman X. I'm so angry. I need some words for wisdom. Uh, Midshipman X. I was R'd. Whoopsie aboard a Maersk ship Dude. by a 60-year-old first engineer. What about, what's, what's the thing about this? He's like mad. Oh, he's mad about this. Yeah. But what's this got to do with, there's, this is a, you know, there's horrible stuff happening all over, the, all over the world. What's this got to do with you? You can't do anything about this. It's the Navy for you. Yeah. Stay off them boats. Stay the hell off of them boats. Yeesh. Was that a Navy thing? Yeah. U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. Yeah, you want to you want to stay the hell away from uh, any of this stuff. The uh, <clears throat> military. What's Merchant Marines? Is that a is that a government thing? Dot edu. So United States Service Academy. Yeah, you want to stay the hell away from anything that's government related because they just tear through people when uh, at their uh, at their leisure. You know, you're a, you're a, a guinea guinea pig for vaccines. You're a uh, <laughs> cannon fodder. Stay stay the fuck away from these. Uh, assholes, you're not you're not helping the country at all. It doesn't matter. Like arguably, maybe if you're in the Coast Guard, you're doing something that's worthwhile. But other, otherwise, you're just uh, missiles for Israel. You're you're just being a um, pawn in some. I'm not gonna say religion in some type of scheme. All right, Jet. This is wholesome. Marine is reunited with puppy he saved. You guys have got to make everything into a fetish. Oh, puppy play Marine.
Maybe if I type in Silly Billy, it'll come up. Anyways, it's a Marine in his official... Oh, look at these Marines. Yeah, there he is, there he is, there he is. Look it's at these Marines walk. having puppy play, though. They're pu they're Don't they're you want to do that? They're yiffing. That's real. That's real? That's real, yeah. Mmm. Salute. Hey, Sam, I love your content. Two years ago, I made the questionable decision to enlist into the Army as an infantryman. Any advice on dealing with regret and horrible anxiety about possibly being sent off to fight a pointless war. Just get out of there. Just break your foot or something. How do you get out of the army? You uh, you claim you're suicidal and you shoot your or you shoot yourself in the foot with a handgun. Uh huh. I would say get out of there, but I don't think you need. Realistically, I don't think you need to worry. What is he talking about? Ukraine. If we if we put boots on the ground in Ukraine, it's just gonna be there's gonna be nukes going off everywhere anyway. Like you're gonna be dead anyway. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's worth stressing out over. What yeah, you, no. If it if you're fighting in like a hot war, yeah. If you ever, most if civilians you, are dead too. Yeah, you're not. It, it doesn't matter, bro. So just stay in the uh, you know, do some push-ups and um, keep. Uh, thank you for your service, keeping us safe. <laughs> Saying thank you for your service, keeping us safe when it, uh, World War Three is about to start. Hey, man, thank <laughs> you for keeping us safe over here. No, don't don't stress about that. Just get just get through it. Just ride it, ride it out and get through to the other side. Don't do anything crazy. Don't do anything to uh, f*** your life up. Um, hopefully, don't let them vaccinate you. That's too late but for that. It's, yeah, it's a little, late, a little My, bit late for that. I had buddies who got kicked out of the military for not taking the vaccine. That was your last exit. My, I also had another friend that pretended he was uh, suicidal to get out, and they mm -hmm. put him in the mental ward for like, Four months. It was like torture. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to end up in a mental ward. And I'm sure. I'm sure they would uh, mess with you, just to just to f with you, just just to just out of spite. For the guy trying to get out of the military, fail your PT test until they discharge you. I still got I an honorable break. discharge doing the same, and still get full VA benefits. Mm. If you don't get an honorable discharge at first, you can challenge it over and over again. Uh, what makes you a better leader than Jocko? Everything. Jocko could what could what could he lead you to do? Carry a twenty five pound backpack across some sand. I would lead you to not be in Afghanistan. How about that? No, let's, let's let's talk about that. What what, how, what makes me a better leader than Jocko? Uh, what is jo so Jocko's thing is what? Go to Afghanistan, um, fight for uh, oil money. So good leadership right there. He's going to lead you over to to Iraq, and uh, get you sh get you shot in a friendly fire incident that he then writes a book about. That's why he's famous. By the way, the reason why Jocko Willink is famous is because he wrote a book about how he's responsible for the um, accidental friendly fire death of a um, like local police force that he, they were collaborating with. That's why he's famous. It would be like if I went out and got in a car accident and killed somebody, and I, and I wrote a book called, Gee, I Really Messed Up, and that got me famous. That's why he's famous. He's, you, don't, you might not know that because he's been around for like 10 years, but that's how he originally got um, big. It might have been a TED Talk or something. Extreme Ownership, I think it was called. But this is, it's, it's the idea of extreme ownership of your malfunctions of your of your failures which is which would be like yes i did get that guy killed and that's why instead of instead of coming up with excuses why he didn't get the guy killed he's like yes i did get that guy killed i did and just like george washington i cannot tell a lie i chopped down the cherry tree like weirdly that one admission which is just kind of like to me that's normal if you if you fuck up you should probably just realistically a lot of the time, usually just st saying that you f up is what no, you should do. But uh, I guess in the I guess in the military, it's so rare that he gets a, a pat on the and back for we're gonna keep they give him a cookie and a pretzel for for doing that. But what's he going to lead you to do? CrossFit? What does he lead you to do? Sell supplements? I ate at a food truck last night and I saw this European guy come in with mm -hmm. a ripped jacket and he was drunk and like yelling. Uh huh. And after um, talking to him for a second, he got jumped by four homeless people oh. at Haven Bros. That's the best. You got to fix these, these people. That's what he was saying. Yeah, fix them all right. 
And the, the guy at the counter was like, we'll call the cops for you because they took his phone. Mm-hmm. And he was like, there's no point. The cops in your country. Cops are crooked. The cops in your country are nothing. The cops are crooked here. The cops really don't seem to care too much around here, though. Yeah. I mean, they probably care about violent stuff, but they they don't care too much about Not after it's already happened. Other, other stuff. If the violence has already happened, they don't really care. I wonder, I wonder how uh, lenient or non- non-lenient they are if you kill somebody in self-defense in Rhode Island what would happen to you like if it was legit me and Ben were actually talking about that earlier yeah having a knife on you probably gets you into more trouble Mm -hmm. probably increases your chance of being hurt having a knife on you yeah or like having a weapon yeah it might it it might get you comfortable enough to like defend yourself which just gets you into a situation rather than protecting you it happens to me all the time yeah I get away with all kinds of car hijinks because I'm respectful. The guy literally, the last time I got pulled over for speeding, the guy said to me, um, I'm going to let you go because you're respectful, not like the rest of these people around here. Yeah. Like, that's what I he's... literally think that's all <laughs> You just got to not like immediately cuss them out yeah. and like roll your eyes. Sorry, officer. I have no idea. I think I was going 68. If I'm about to die, there's five things. There's five things I don't want to hear while I'm dying. Okay. Number one is a female cop saying, Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I, I did it I, by accident. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was an accident. I thought it was my taser. That's the number one thing you you absolutely do not want to hear while you're dying. Yeah. And listen, the, the police brutality thing, you can watch all the police brutality videos on LiveLeak. You can get emotional about whatever situation you want. And there's one video of a black kid, he's an autistic kid, And they're like wrestling him to the ground and giving him tranquilizer because he's so autistic he doesn't want to be touched. That's the one that was like he died. He was like the violin kid. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's a terrible situation. That's terrible. Okay. How do you control for that? Because in this country, if you resist the police, the way it is, is the police have the the power to and they will, uh, you know, every time escalate the situation until you die. Yeah, you can't you can't. That's just how it is. That's how, that's how it is in this country. So unless you fix that, unless you fix that for me, for when I'm driving as fast as I can and I can just do that, I, I, I need the license to drive as fast as I want at any moment. And if I get pulled over, I'm going to keep running because I will. And I would love to do that. And I'd love to avoid the police. But you can't do that in this country. OK, if you escalate it, you're going to die. Yeah, and that's how it is. And it's not even it's it's uh, <clears throat> I'm sure there are times where it's where it's racial, I think a lot of the time it's just how it is, okay? And, um, but the, the, when people suffer actual racism, I feel terrible for that. And I watch the police brutality video, videos all the time, and a lot of the time it's just the guy deserved it. But there's one that, actu- that actually did um, get me, okay? It's a Hispanic, it's either a Hispanic guy or a Native American guy or whatever, and he's surrounded by cops, and um, uh, he says, he says, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to run. He starts putting his stuff down. I'm unarmed. I'm going to run. Sorry, got to go. He runs off, and he is, uh, at some point in the video, uh, mistakenly shot. He was unarmed. He, he, he was just running, which is not a good idea, and obviously you shouldn't do that. But he's shot mistakenly by a female cop, and uh, as he's dying, the la- this is the part. That this, and it's not that he's accidentally shot by the cops, okay? Shit happens. It's also a, a terrible job. Do you really want to deal with homeless people all day with needles in their pockets, okay? It's just this terrible situation all around. It's not something I get, I get emotional about. But the thing, that, uh, the thing that crushed me was that as he's, as he's fucking dying, man, the last thing he hears is a, a fucking bitch. C word, female cop going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh my God, I can't, I did, I did. For fucking 20 minutes. He's bleeding out and this fucking dumb bitch is a uh, cry scream apologize as if that's going to help her in court or something it's cry scream apologizing for accidentally shooting the guy i don't that made me really upset